Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to decrease knee and back pain and produce more mobile hips by strengthening your glutes. Get out of those lunges and get out of those squats and work the gluteus medius, minimus, and maximus more efficiently. The first exercise is side plank with clam shell. We're gonna be working the gluteus minimus and medius. Lie on your side with your elbow under your shoulder and your hips stacked. We are gonna lift up into a modified side plank. As we lift the hip higher, we're gonna take the top leg and externally rotate it so that the knee opens up to the ceiling. We will be closing down the top knee to finish off the clamshell. Repeat 12 to 15 times and notice that you're using your core to stabilize. Make sure you have good alignment. We wanna be in the right place so that we really do work that hip extender, right? We wanna open up and close in that clamshell. Keep the shoulders down and keep your core braced. Again, we're gonna do 12 to 15 repetitions on this side. If you'd like, you can always do a second round. Prone Frogger. We're gonna be working the gluteus maximus. You're gonna lie on your stomach and externally rotate your hips so that your knees are separated about 12 inches apart. Bend your legs to a 90 degree angle and let your heels touch. Flex your feet. Keep your head down and engage your butt as you push your feet up toward the sky. Your thighs should lift off the floor. Pause at the top before slowly lowering back down to the starting position. We're gonna perform between 15 to 20 repetitions. Take your time, relax your shoulders, and make sure that those heels are pressing together and the feet are flexed. And keep those legs at a 90 degree angle so that we also activate the hamstrings along with the glutes. Side balance leg circles. We're gonna work the gluteus minimus and medius. Place your hand on the floor directly under your shoulder. Place your bottom knee under your hip and lift your top leg so that the foot lines up with the hip. While moving from the hip, I want you to draw 10 small circles in one direction. And then we're gonna reverse and do 10 circles the other way. Go ahead and set yourself up for the second side. And again, we're gonna do 10 circles one way, and then reverse and do 10 circles the other direction. Relax the shoulders, brace the core, and keep that leg lifted to hip height. Great job. Glute bridge with band. We're gonna work the gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius. Place a small ba band just below the knees. Lie down on your back and have your arms by your side. We're gonna press through the heels and lift the hips up into bridge. And as we do that, we're gonna press the knees away, working the gluteal, medial, and minimus. For an added challenge, lift the arms up to the sky and do your same movement. We're gonna do between 15 to 20 repetitions. If you don't have a band, don't worry. You can still do this movement and reap the benefits.
seated mini band hip abduction. We're gonna, we're gonna work the gluteus minimus and medius. Go ahead and lie back on your elbows and have the mini band around the calves. Brace the shoulders down and your core, and we're gonna press the knees away from one another. Making like a butterfly movement. We are externally rotating the hips so that we can really get those gluteus minimus and max medius muscles to work. We're going to perform between 15 to 20 repetitions. Elevated plank with leg lift. We are working the gluteus maximus here. Place the band around the calves and come to a forearm plank. While maintaining a plank position, squeeze your glutes as you lift the leg. We're going to do between 15 and 20 repetitions. If you need to modify this, place the knee down of the non-working leg. Relax the shoulders and keep your core braced. Go ahead and do the other leg. And again, if you need to, you can always elevate the elbows onto a step or a chair. And that will just make it a little bit easier in the shoulder joint. We're gonna do one round of all these exercises, but if you'd like, you can always do a second or a third round. Remember, we are strengthening those glutes and those hips so that you will stand taller and have more, more mobility. Great job, you guys.